what is going on, video game Metal 13 and welcome back to some more LEGO Indiana Jones 2 Adventure Continues. Where in the last episode, we tackled Temple Tantrum, the fourth story mode level of the game. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling the final story mode level of Temple of Doom. To access this final story mode level, which is Mola Rampage, we are going to switch to the Maharaja and then throw her black sleeve at that thuggy in the control tower up there. This, much like the Riddler from LEGO and Batman the video game, is going to allow us to take control of this thuggy and then use him to pull on this switch right here, which will extend a ladder for us. Let's detach control by switching to a different character. Jumping up here, and going across the bridge for the final level of the game. Or of the, of the Temple of Doom. The true adventure reward for this level, which we've already gotten, is three or 30,000 studs, which can easily be achieved by just collecting the purple and blue studs around the area. Once you do that, we're going to switch to Shore Round, who's all the way over there for some, un for some unknown reason, and pick up one of these water bottles, wait for Kali to attack, or, yeah, wait for Kali to attack, and then throw the water ball at the flaming foot right down there. Oh, wait, he's going to attack again. Okay. Pick up the water ball, throw it at the foot, like that. And then once she's stunned, we're going to run over Astro Ron and crawl through her body. For some reason, this works. And then once Short Ron emerges on top, we're going to punch Molaram once to get him off. Then switch immediately to Indy and use his whip against this orange handle that appears out of nowhere. We have to do this five more times to destroy all of Kali's six arms. And once we do that... We will have one final feat of strength to go complete. I recently rewatched the Festus episode of Seinfeld, so don't blame me. Now we're gonna do this again. Throw the water ball at the foot, and then run over, and sweat, crawl inside. And I will warn you that each time you do this, Kylie's attacks are gonna get more and more violent and aggressive, so you need to be careful. But so long as you keep a fair distance back, you should be fine. Again, we need to switch to Indy for the second arm. There we go. Alright, switch back to short round, pick up a water bottle, and get ready to throw it at the foot. You want to try and do it as soon as possible so that you don't have to be here for her attacks, but when she does, you just want to jump up above the ground so that you aren't in her firing path. Go inside once more, and then we're going to punch Molaram for the third time, switch to Indy, and then get ready to use his whip against the third orange handle which will appear. There we go. Short round once more. Pick up the water bottle. Again, it's, it's a rinse and repeat pattern. There isn't much else for me to explain here. It, it's, it's a very simplistic boss fight, even and which has absolutely no significance to the movie whatsoever. I don't know why they didn't just go for what they did on... Um, oh, dear. What they did in Raiders of the Law... In uh, the original game. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that boss fight. I don't know why they feel that every single... Um, every single the movie adaptation in this game. Every, every place that has to end with a giant boss battle, regardless of what actually happened in the movie. Uh, for instance, uh, the perfect example of this is Crane Train. Yeah, you re remember that level where you had to fight the train and an opposing train running alongside us? Yeah, because that totally happened in the movie. And what about the giant Ant-Man? That totally happened in the movie. Anyway, now he's going to start spewing, spewing fire at us like he sends the dragon. We have to run underneath this fire blast, and then once he stops firing, we're going to throw the bottle at the foot one more time, then switch to the short round, go in. You'll notice that Kali doesn't have any more arms. It doesn't mean she doesn't have another whip point for us to hit. So, punch Molaram off, switch to Indiana Jones, and then use his whip one last time on the top of Kali's head, and that is level complete. Congratulations! You have completed the Temple of Doom! Except that you're lying to me. We are, I, I'm gonna guess, 12% of the way through Temple of Doom? Nowhere even kind of close to being... We're 58.2% of the way through the game. Which, that should say something. We're at the second to last place that we're, we're just over halfway through the game. So... 
that should say something about how full, chock full of stuff this game is. Um, but, I'm gonna guess we're 12% of the way through the Temple of Doom. I think that's a, I think that's a fair guess. But we will see if I am correct once this finishes loading. Let's see. Nope, I forgot. We have to unlock the Last Crusade before we can do that. Here's the Last Crusade unlocked. How close was I? Oh, I was very wrong. We are 26.3% of the way through. But that said, still less than a third of the way through. So, yeah, I don't know about the whole you completed Temple of Doom thing. Anyway, and that's going to be this episode of LEGO Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. So, I would like to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to be tackling the first treasure mode level of the game. And until then, this has been Game of Magic 13. Signing off saying, I hope you, I hope you have a fantastic, horrible day, and I'll catch you all next time for some more LEGO Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. Goodbye!